Hey, what's up? Hello, it's just your girl Sunray coming with a video. And I pray this video that it bless your soul because you already know that I had to go into this world right now. Hey, y'all, what's up? As you guys can see, today's prophetic word is titled that it is time to build. Okay, so we know that Jesus is the chief cornerstone and upon him all things concerning the church are to be built. And I know that you have heard people speak out before and say that it's time to build. Even I have. But one thing that also always, first of all, the Holy Spirit is just speaking. So I'm going to let him go which way he want to go. Okay. So the first thing is that as prophetic voices, when we issue prophetic words, such as it's time to build, a prophetic word should always be supplemented with an instruction. How can you tell my people what I say, but not direct them in which way to go? The prophecy not only comes with telling you what's to come up or things of that sort, but there is also that apostolic portion that deals with the building, that deals with the instruction, that deals with putting pieces together, okay? And so right now, when we talk about building, building is always talking about um, building uh, for God's kingdom, okay? And what does building for God's kingdom look like? That looks like people in um, entrepreneurship, okay? They call that the marketplace, okay? Your modern day Zebulun people. It looks like those who are called to have ministries, okay, online, speaking about what thus says the Lord, teaching people the word of God, helping them adhere, okay, we have the pastors in the churches, we have all of that, the people, the, the perfecting gifts, so on and so forth, okay, um, kind of representative of your modern day Issachar tribe, okay, we also have those who not just are in the marketplace or that are in the churches, but those that are also in the music industry, okay? Um, typically represented by a Levitical type of an anointing, okay? The Levites, those who led worship. Not saying you have to be a worship leader, but where God has placed something in you and he's sending you into the music industry, okay, to infiltrate. All right. And then we also have the craftsmen. OK, we have those who are considered artists that build structure. Artists are also musicians, but artists that builds like uh, certain pieces and things of that sort. I don't really know that much, but like architecture and things like that for God's glory. OK, so if that's your lane, you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and honestly, like I said, I did not prepare anything that I just said. Um, nothing but the Holy Spirit is speaking through me right now. So I pray that this is serving as confirmation for someone. So what God is calling us to do is to establish that which is in heaven here on earth. But the thing that's needed right now in this hour is that a lot of you know that already. You already know that you've been called to worship. You've been called, I mean, to create music. You've been called to uh, do hair. You've been called to do this, da 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 da, da right? But the issue is, how do you shift from the revelation, or not even a revelation, but how do you shift from that knowing and make it more actionable, okay? Um, and then what does that look like? And so I know some of you know, but some of you do also don't know <laughs> that starting tomorrow, uh, June 11th, okay, um, I will be going back to doing Bible study, okay? It's going to be prophetic in nature, but it's also going to be that teaching side of this ministry coming forward again, okay? And so along with that, tomorrow, I'm actually going to be doing a teaching on this. And I'm inviting you guys to come in because if you find yourself in a place where you kind of, you don't even know what you're called to do, it's good for you to come. If you know what God's called you to do, but you're still kind of stuck in making it actionable or making sense of it all, 
I really believe that tomorrow's Bible study is actually going to be highly beneficial for you, okay? So I'm going to link the link to register because you must register for the Bible study in the comments below. If you see this video on TikTok or Instagram, you should click on a link that is located in my bio and register for Bible study. Um, you don't want to miss this. This is going to be a loaded teaching. Um, this might be something I post in the future, but I highly suggest that you carve out an hour and a half of your time, 7 p.m. Central um, to 8.30 p.m. I'm going to be pretty prompt starting within the first 10 minutes because I know some people have things going on um, and it's going to be um, where you guys are needing to take notes as well. Okay, like I said, I'm a teacher. I believe that in the prophetic that we should not just release words, but that we should also be teaching especially when it comes to something such as a word as this, the building of God's kingdom. People need infrastructure. We've heard enough words. We need direction, okay? And we also need a way to seek God's direction. So my prayer is that you come in tomorrow and you fellowship with us in the New Heart Bible Study. Um, we're going to be meeting every Tuesday. I don't know what's happening next week, but I know this week, this is our focus. So I look forward to seeing you all there. But also for those of you who aren't able to make it, I just pray in Jesus mighty name that the uh, instructions that you need are released to you. Or maybe you like, I don't know, partner up with somebody in the comments that is going and then you can get notes from them. Let's build fellowship and community that way. But anywho, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next prophetic word. Also, seats are limited, okay? When I say they limited, they limited. After we reach max registration, no one will be able to come in, okay? And like I said, I don't know when God will have me release the teaching that I'll be doing tomorrow. So it might be a while before that comes out. And this is a timely word and a timely um, instruction that's being delivered to the God's people. So you don't want to miss it. But I will talk to you guys later. And the rest of y'all, I will see y'all tomorrow. Also, don't forget um, my new album, Completely Unraw, Unedited, all of that is available okay um you will find that on the website i'm super excited uh, about this just keep swinging okay um this is just me doing something that i love to do and um just ushering people into the presence of the lord because we need those davids out there that can bring rest to those people who are being tormented by spirits and other situations that's going on in their life. I'm so grateful uh, for a lot of the responses that I'm already getting from it. And I just pray that you circulate this. Just share this with people that, you know, may need to hear something new or might need to just hear a little bit more gospel, whatever the case may be. But I love y'all and I will talk to you later.